Hey everyone, this is Alex, and I just wanted to kind of do a quick um, movie review, I guess. Um, I, I don't know exactly how to say this, but um, I actually went and I saw Breaking Dawn today earlier. Um, oh my gosh, like, I don't even know what to say because I was blown away with it. Like, it was, I have to say this movie was like the best movie out of the four that have come out, it had everything. It had action, it had romance, it had humor. Um, this was like the perfect movie, and I have no words to describe how amazing I, I was in love with this movie. Um, I was totally just blown away with all of it. Um, my sister and I we went and we saw it, and we went to. Not the, not our nearest movie center, but we went to a village center cinema, um, which isn't too far away from our house. It's about like a 10, 15 minute drive. Um, so we went there and we saw it and we went to the matinee showing, which is like the morning showing. It's pretty cheap. It was $7.50 a ticket per person. So it was $15 for me and my sister. And then we like went and, um, I have to say, I was, I was very, very impressed. Um, I honestly have no words to like describe it. It was just so amazing. I was so blown away with it. Um, I don't know what to say. Um, it was just amazing. Like, um, I don't really know because I can't say anything without giving anything away. Um, like, I feel like if I say something, it's gonna like spoil you guys. Spoil. But for those of you who haven't seen it, so, um, I really don't know what to say, but, um, yeah. And for those of you who've probably noticed, I am not in my bedroom, um, recording this, um, this time. Uh, I'll, I'll get to that in another video, the next video that I do, um, which will probably be a book review sometime soon. Um, I'm hoping to have it up loaded maybe sometime during Thanksgiving break. Um really don't know right now. But yes. Um I just wanted to say, you know, I went and I saw Breaking Dawn and I was, I was totally blown away with it. Um um I I don't really think I have a favorite scene. If I have a favorite scene, um it has to be kind of like the pre wedding stuff, I guess, like so pretty much like the kind of start of the movie. Um, like, it, it's totally amazing. Um, Alice's hair, you know, I, I'm gonna bring this up. Um, Alice's hair was, like, amazingly done. I, I really love it. I'm actually, I was actually thinking about getting my hair pixie cut, and I was kind of thinking about getting it like that. So, I, I might, might do that sometime. I really don't know. Um, if I do that, I, I really want to do that kind of towards the end of the year, senior year. Um, Oh my gosh, you know, I felt like there was a lot more, you know, Emmett humor in this one, which was, it made it totally awesome. Um, the wedding reception with the speeches. Oh my gosh, that was, that was really funny. My sister and I, like, were cracking up throughout the entire movie. Um, Charlie brought up his, well, this is a quick spoiler alert. Charlie, Charlie brings up his shotgun. Um, he's like, Edward is gonna be a good husband because yeah I'm a cop I know how to shoot a gun I have a shotgun um so that was that was really really funny um there's just so much humor in this one I felt like you you really couldn't help but you know fall in love with this this book series again um I think this movie kind of this movie kind of brought you back to the realization as to you know, why people who first saw the movies or they first read the books why they picked those up in the first place. Like, to me, this is just a great reminder, you know, that, um, I had been waiting for this wedding sequence since I was a freshman in high school, um, when the first film came out. So, I mean, like, three years ago now? Three, almost, maybe four, I guess. I don't know. Um, but I mean, like, this was a good experience for me because this kind of brought me back to the realization of why I picked up the books in the first place. Um, 
why, you know, I became a dedicated fan of the books, um, and why I have so much Twilight memorabilia. Actually, speaking of memorabilia, I have something I want to sh show you guys. I got this when I bought a large soda at my at the theater. It has Jacob on it. And then if you rotate it, it says The Twilight Saga Breaking Dawn Part 1. Um, these are so cute. They're large. Um, this is only for the largest. It's like sturdy plastic, so, you know, I can use this for a while. Um, my sister has the Edward version of this cup, so I'm, like, totally jealous. And we're going to go back anyway to that theater next week. So I'll, I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up getting an Edward cup next week. Um, but, um, Jacob, that actually just, that kind of just brought up another point. Um, I feel like Jacob matures a lot in this film. You kind of see him mature a lot. Um, obviously, you know, you do see hatred towards Edward and, um, Renee's May, obviously. But, you know, you kind of see him mature in the fact that, you know, he realizes that, you know, like, based off the books, he does split from a pack. Um, so, you know, I think that that kind of brings about some maturity to him. He's, um, I, I, I honestly, I can't say it without giving it away. I feel like if I say this, I'm going to end up giving it away. And, um, I don't want to give away the movie for you guys, because I know some of you probably haven't seen it yet, and if you're in an international country, it might not have been available to you guys at this point yet. Um, but, you know, he, he's really clever, and he's really smart, and I think, you know, he does take his alpha place in this film and you kind of see it um there is a point in this movie where I, I was like wait did he grow like visually grow on screen because um it, it seemed like it for a second that he actually did grow and it kind of threw me off I was like wait what he he grew what a shocker um so I mean yeah and then the Edward and Bella relationship you I think this one, I was really blown away with it because, you know, you kind of realize at this point, Edward isn't perfect. Um, like, he's, um, he really isn't perfect as, as everyone thinks. Um, and as, as much as everyone wants him to be, he's not perfect. Um, you know, he, he literally is, he, he's on the brink of insanity because Bella, you know, she wants to keep the baby and she's, she basically chose to keep the baby even though Edward and Bella are quote unquote partners. Um, like basically he, he, spoiler alert, he tells her off for basically choosing the baby and, and knowing that, you know, she has that risk of dying. Um, he basically is like, you know what, you chose this, I didn't choose it, and I'm not, like, basically he's pissed with her, and, um, you kind of see that, and you see that, that strain in their first year of marriage, like, their first few weeks of getting married, um, you know, like, you do see a bit of Seth, or not Seth, I'm sorry, that, that came out wrong, I'm sorry, you see Sue and Charlie, you, you see some of that in there, um, and of course, you see Billy. Um, I really don't know what else to say, like, without giving you away. But, um, actually, I was sitting there and I was watching it, and, you know, like, the first time, you know, you're kind of like, just be quiet and pay attention. But no, my sister and I would kind of, we weren't talking, but we made comments as we were watching. Um, so, uh, I don't really know. Um, but we're actually, we're going to go back and we're going to go see it tomorrow, but we're going to the closer movie cinema, which is at the mall, which is um, about a mile away from my house. Um, so, yeah, we're actually going to go and we're going to go see it again. And this is, we're going to sit, we're going to pay attention, we're going to be quiet. And um, the Volturi sequence that you see in the trailer, it actually isn't in the movie um, until, you know, after the credits are shown and... I have to, like, speed this up and let you guys go because my parents and my sister are coming home and they're about to come in through that, the door right there. And so I kind of have to speed this up and, um, you know, Breaking Dawn. I thought it was totally awesome. Me and my sister, you know, we were, we were both in agreement that this was the best one of the four Twilight films that are out and available right now. 
this one was the best one so far. And we're at the point where we're waiting for part two. We're all like, really? We have to wait another stinking year? Why couldn't they be like a uh, new moon in eclipse where new moon came out in November and then eclipse came out in um, June, July of the, the next year. So we're kind of waiting for, we're, we're kind of hoping, you know, maybe they'll decide, hey, we'll come out with it sooner. It'd be totally awesome. And I think that's all I have to say. So, um, I hope I didn't spoil this for anyone and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye guys.